Networking follow-up. Three ways you can filter out the tyre kickers. You swap business cards at a networking event and get invited for coffee. A network colleague refers somebody to you for advice and you feel obliged to help them out for free. Or you get an inquiry from a Facebook group or LinkedIn and all they're looking for is free advice or to sell you something. Does this sound familiar? Next time, before you do anything, consider 1. How much is your time worth and what do you expect to get out of the meeting that respects this? Once you put a value on your time, it is easier for you to take back control of the conversation so that you can both come out of it with value. Find out if there is potential business before you get involved. Two, get the referral to contact you so that you can start by finding out why. That way you are working with a warm lead and can ask questions to get to the core of what they need. And number three, create a crib sheet of questions using the who, what, where, why, when, which and how words such as what is it about our products that interests you? Who referred you to us? Why? When? Where? Which? How do you think we can work together or help solve your problem? This keeps the conversation focused and helps you to get to the heart of the matter without wasting too much of your time. Networking is a great way to build your business, providing you're in it for the long haul. Good networks are built on trust and willingness to cooperate. It's not about getting the sale right now. It may take months, especially if the people you meet are not initially your target market. We've put together a simple networking strategy template so that you can plan and monitor how effective you are at building your business through networks. Download your free networking strategy template today. Brought to you by the How to Negotiate Anything team.